this is the Fruit Loops University live class. This is uh, part two of our software class on Mondays. And what we're doing is trying to use Adobe Audition to ex extract a sample from a CD. So we're going, coming down to File. We're making sure that we're in Edit Mode. And then we left click on Extract Audio from CD. And we'll have a we'll have an option of choosing whatever, whatever track that we want to preview right just by hitting that preview button we can hear a sample we can hear a sample of that song once we find the song we want then we can hit OK and import that into it can rip it it rips it right off the CD and brings it into Adobe Audition okay so I want to find the right track <laughs> Gonna sample some country. <laughs> the corner bending. Which which one do you say is nice track? Which one? The one that I just played. I like that drum in the beginning there. That's a good sample right there. Now are you talking to Don? <laughs> That's good. that right there just that beginning I'm gonna hit that watch this hit OK so it's gonna start now reading the whole thing uh, stripping it off the CD bring it in into Adobe Edition and as it's doing that we don't have to take the whole song but now we can at least see the whole song and begin to extract what we want from the song right and you can see now look at look at how this looks this is a professionally mastered CD and if you look at the way it looks on the screen, you can see how your music could look like. I'm not saying it's supposed to look exactly like this, but you can see how everything is uh, almost even, virtually even. That's that's what a, a professionally mastered CD should look like. You should see more even, evenness in across the whole mix. All right, so I'm gonna pull just that beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and grab just what I want from the beginning, and I can hit play. And just to make sure I don't I don't have something I don't need. I'm just gonna loop that one little part and I really my instinct says to just get one note and, and play the rest of the sample but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way all right so I'm stretching it out all right so since I can't quite get it right with all that information there I'm gonna right click copy it to a new one this way I have just a simple wave I can work with. Alright, now F8. If I hit F8, anywhere within while it's playing, it will give me a, a marker. And that's how I can tell where to cut my loop. So I'm going to hit play and then hit F8 when I want it to loop. Here we go. Alright, and you can see how I built a marker right here after I press F8. So technically, if I just loop this, it should loop uh, perfectly, but it's not gonna because I, I did it a little bit 
slow. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 